morning children who is the worst person you know who could you never forgive the story of jonah isn't just about a man and a big fish so what is the 32nd book in the bible about let's find out with uncle kushi good morning children jonah is an exciting tale there's a disobedient prophet a ship caught in a storm unbelieving sailors who do the right thing and a big big fish But if that's what you get from the story you miss the most important part the call to repentance from a loving god Nineveh was the capital of the Assyrians the most powerful enemies of Israel cruel proud people Ninevites worshiped false gods God punishes wrongdoing but in his mercy he sends Jonah to the Ninevites with a message of impending doom Jonah goes the opposite way he doesn't think god should send any warning to those evil Ninevites God harshly course corrects Jonah big fish and all and Jonah obeys finally on hearing the message of impending doom the people of Nineveh throw themselves down before the Lord expecting nothing but repenting completely and God forgives and relents Nineveh is spared but now Jonah is angry with God why because Jonah knows God's heart for forgiveness and is happy to receive mercy and forgiveness for himself but not for his enemies Jesus teaches of a man who was forgiven much but wouldn't forgive little does that sound like you and me Jesus died for all his chosen the just for the unjust we didn't deserve his sacrifice we are not worthy of being saved and yet Jesus has mercy on us all because mercy is the nature of God. Today, can we pray for the unrighteous? Can we remember how we too are unrighteous without Jesus? Let's pray. Thank you Jesus that on the cross you paid the price we could not pay. The only worthy one, the only sinless one. And so your father was willing to accept your sacrifice. allowing for the just to pay for the unjust we could not do this lord so we thank you give us hearts of mercy like you have give us loving hearts that want the best for people and want them to hear your message a message of forgiveness and love we bless you because you are good and kind in your precious and wonderful name we pray Amen. God wants everyone to hear the message of salvation, even those who don't deserve it. That means you and I didn't deserve to hear the message either. We were God's enemies, and yet God showed us mercy. All our enemies, the really bad people we know, we should cry out for the Lord to call them to repentance. cry out for god to give them the chance we were given let's pray for them together as we rejoin the church in the next